Hi everyone, this is Carla and thanks for stopping by my channel. I am crafting for my stash again, getting ready for that craft fair. And I found about, oh, I don't know, 14, 15 of these little sticky notes from the Dollar Tree. And these little sticky notes, they're all in one pad and they're a little bit thicker than when you put like three of those little skinny ones together or something like that. So I came up with some measurements to make little uh, notebooks with a pen and I packaged them like this. This is one of them. And I just made a little tag on my Cricut, cut a little piece for the topper. And I'm gonna make one of these real now, right now, very simple. I've made these in the past and I just really wanted to use up these little notepads. So I'll show you how I did that. So first of all, I took a piece of cardstock and I cut it three and a half this way and seven and three fourths this way. Then I'm just gonna put it up here on the scoreboard and I'm gonna score it at three and one eighth. And three and five eighths. And, whoops, I don't wanna cut down in that. Three and five eighths and four and one eighth. Okay. So that is basically going to be the little cover for the sticky note pad. Let me move this out of the way a little bit. So I've got this again. This was three and a half this way and seven and three fourths across. I scored it three and one eighth, three and five eighths, and four and one eighth. Now we're simply going to fold this in the center. And this is going to be the side sticking up here where you want to cut into your score line. And I'm going to be adding a pen at the top. So I'm going to come up here fairly close because my pins are pretty short. I'm going to cut just, oh, maybe half an inch in. Then I'm going to come down about an inch and cut another uh cut into that fold line. So now I've got something like this and this is cut just right here. So I'm going to take this now and fold it this way and then I'm going to take this other one and fold it in and in the center we're going to push that fold in and where we cut we're going to pop out. So we're going to take this Fold it down in the center like we had it. And when you fold that together, this is gonna pop up where you cut into the fold line, just like that. So now you've got this little part that looks like this. Now I'm gonna grab my art glitter glue. That's what I'm gonna be using for my adhesive. And I also will be using a half inch tape. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna take the glue, get my pen out there. there go. I'm gonna come right under here. Okay, again, you've got this folded. You've got this piece coming out, the short parts on the top and the long parts on the bottom. You're gonna come up and on under here. This is the part you wanna stick down. So you wanna add your glue in here. And that kind of tore my paper, so I'm going to add just a little bit on that crease. Then you simply want to just pull this over and just hold that down till it kind of dries a little bit. Doesn't take long for that to kind of dry in there. That extra glue out. And then you've got this part. When that's glued down, you're going to have this little part that looks like this when you open it up. And this is a little place where you can put your pen. Now, you might want to measure your pen to see exactly, you know, where your pen is going to clamp on. I have uh, done this several times today, so I know that I need mine up here pretty close. Now, I'm going to open this back up. 
and I'm going to take some ah, half inch uh, double sided tape. I'm going to take it and go right on top of where that one part is sticking down. Take it right up to the end of that and take that off and then come over here and add it to this part. And right here, and take that off. I'm gonna drop my pad here. I'll put that there. And then underneath, we're going to add this little sticky note pad. Now, the one side had, I had green, pink, and a real uh, deep gold color. It really turned out pretty. I'll show you some of them that I made. Now, some people make theirs where they're on the side and you open it up and you do like this. I like mine like to go with the, the sticky part here where it's held together. I like mine to go in here because I like to open it this way and have a pin at the top where you can take it out that way. That's just me. So you can do it, you know, the way you like it. Then I'm going to come down here. Actually, I'm going to come on the back of my uh, sticky note pad and I'm going to add this double-sided tape right across the back. I'm going to take this off the backing I, I like to have things like this on hand I didn't have any last year but since I had all of these I really want to get some of this stuff made up because they're cute to have on hand since they're not designated just for the holidays. You can give these for cute little gifts anytime. So I'm going to take this now and just going to butt it up right up to where that was. And I'm going to take this, fold it up right along that edge. And get that stuck on there really nice. Pull this over, and there you've got your little notepad. Isn't that cute? And then I had ordered these little mini gel pens. I got these from um, Amazon. Don't remember how much they were. And I think, um, you know, the pink would be pretty to match, but these are colored gel pens, so I have to be careful. I need to pick a pen that, you know, the ink's going to show up on this bright pink inside here. So, let's see. The other colors are out here. Green. The green would look pretty on that. I think I'll see if I've got a green one. And I do. Also, blue. What? Do this blue one. I kind of like the blue, so I'm going to take this little blue pen, I'm going to put it right up here, and then I'm just going to decorate the front. And what I've been doing is uh, I took my scallop punch and I punched out some little scallops, and so I do have that right there. Um, not sure which one I want to use, I do want to use both. Right, there's one, there's one. I think I would, if I use both, I'm going to kind of shadow them like so. Well, I looked up, I think I've been recording all of this, but when I looked up, I saw that my phone said low battery and I couldn't see anything on there that it was recording. So I'm gonna to try to fix that <clears throat> so we shall see how it turns out. But anyway, so I've got this little uh, notepad all covered. And when you open it, it's going to open like so. There's your little notepad. Now, the way, <clears throat> excuse me, I packaged these was I have these little bags. I've shared these with you before. The ones I've shared before, I think, are the larger ones. I also have these, uh, these are from Clear Bags, and these are the ones that have the 
top or space at the top. And these are four and five eighths by five and three fourths, and they just fit perfectly for this. So what I did was I cut a little strip of paper that was, it was, let's see, it was about one and a fourth by four and three fourths. And I took this and I took this little uh, note sign that I had made on my Cricut in Design Space. Took that and added that to the top. And I tried to match the topper with all the paper that I had used for the notepad. And I think this turned out really cute. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna add it in the top, just like that. Put that in there. I just love it when they have this little topper thing and I didn't double it because I'm kind of using my scraps when I got to this part. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I'm gonna take this off. Just gonna fold this over. Nice and neat. This one, let's try that little corner a little bit better. And then I'm going to take the notepad itself and just slide it up in this little bag. There we go. Slides right up in there. And I'm going to take this off. In there fairly even. And let's take this, just fold it up evenly, give it a press, and there you've got your adorable little note bag pad all packaged and ready to go. Now I just think those are adorable. I think I'm gonna sell these for $250 because the notepads, of course, were a dollar, and I'm only getting one out of them. And the pens, I can't remember what I paid for them, but I think $2.50 would be fair. What do you guys think about that? And I think they're really cute. So I've got about 15 of those. I'm just gonna show them real quickly. And it really doesn't take long to make these at all. And I, I really am glad to get these uh, worked up. And I'll have more space in my drawers, right? This is Anna Griffin paper. This is from that little pad. This is Anna Griffin paper. But I used uh, little chipboard pieces that came from another sticker sheet. This is... Um, just random paper. This came from a Christmas pack, I think, actually, but all these cute little chipboard pieces just kind of make it. I love this one. This one says hashtag mom life, and this was a real cute sticker set I had, and there's a little purse on that, and this one says mom in it, and there's a little cell phone. Isn't that cute? And a little pen at the top, and this one there's a little girl in there. I think that's mom. She's shopping. It says love. Then I have this one. It says beauty, sweet, bloom, and one more. And this says believe you can and you're halfway there. Isn't that the truth? Always think positive. So... I hope you've enjoyed this little simple tutorial today. And if you have, please give me that thumbs up. And um, until next time, bye-bye.